Hey, Mark Morris, TotalBeTheBroke.com, TotalBeTheBroke.com. Just finished up my tight outfit training at the gym, did some lifting, and then finished up some cardio. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Once you guys hit 50, both you men and women, I think the most important thing I think about, sex and money. And that's what I'm going to help you with. And we'll talk about health too, but it's basically sex and money. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me tell you three things you kind of can't do anymore. I think back in my day, who remembers Craigslist? I used to do one night stands on Craigslist. I used to go to Red Jack Saloon, have um, one night stands and stuff. But then when you hit 56, hasn't the world changed? Internet this, internet that. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Three things I want you guys to avoid, unfortunately. I still think all those dating sites are just scams. It's just like how it used to be. Unfortunately, they've been in, infiltrated or taken over by people looking for get quick money and do bizarre stuff. Three things I wouldn't do to increase my sex. I would not do all those, those dating sites. Number two, I would stay away from people who are just... Um, what I say, just people who just complain a lot, or just, you know, I just want to have sex, man. But if they're complaining, try to have you stick with them, get rid of them. And a place I would avoid if I'm going to have a one night stand with someone, don't go any place over one story. I remember I got caught in a, the Millennium Tires, and um, I had sex. And after we were done having sex, I realized I was on the 35th floor, and then she's talking about getting married and all kind of stuff, and I was like stuck there. Only way I could get out of there was to have sex with her again. Could you have, let's have sex quick and you can open up the elevator for me. So those are some things I could do. So some other things I think you should do is, hey, you could gonna have to do some self-love. Maybe you find some good porn you're into, some kink you get to, I'd do that. And just basically tell the partner that you're with, I, we're not exclusive yet. Let's just, just have our fun. Then we'll decide how this works out with later on. So I'll give you some more tips right now. I'm trying to put it together in my own head. What I've done lately. Because the world is changing. If people, Even if people are married, they're not really married. They're just stuck because of the finances. So hey, maybe have an affair. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's kind of what I'm doing, sort of. Like some people. Or you may find a really kinky girl. Hey, kinky guy. They, they bring a partner to you. They just want to watch, man. Because they don't have confidence or they don't want to break up their relationship. Here, just fuck her. Fuck him. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'll just watch. And then I can eventually I get the confidence and I'll join in. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. But when it comes to sex, I would say just talk to everyone, man. If you're 56 plus, I would be, I'd say go out with the younger people. Younger. I see a lot of younger girls going out with the older guys too. It can work. I think for women, you probably would want to go with the younger guys. You can have control. Even if you're the man, I think you would want to go with a younger woman. But also, the older women. A lot of these women got money, man. So, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me know what you think, man. I'm just putting this all together. But this is Mother's Day. And I just know even some moms, though they're celebrating quote, unquote, Mother's Day. They're fucking around like you wouldn't believe, man. So, subscribe, subscribe. Thought I'd bring that up to you. Let me know what you think.